Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled Afyomi Sanhedrin Mem Hey. The Gemara has an unbelievable concept. It's talking about the death penalty, Skila Shreifa Herod of Achanak, and how we go about it. Rav Nachman introduces an amazing concept. He says, Make sure as you kill the person, you don't forget the mitzvah of Yahafta Nareacha Kamocha. That you must love. This Jew. So we're killing Plony because he deserves a death sentence. Faith and tried him, and the majority came out that he must die. So Nachman says that as we're trying to figure out how to go about killing him, and there's different factors involved, which in Yitz Hashem we'll talk about in Daf Memvav in the next year in the Sanhedrin series. So Chaman says, make sure you take into account to love him. So we are killing him and loving him at the same time. And he says, if there's a few legitimate halachic ways to kill him, well, try to figure out which one would be the least painful for him because of the mitzvah of speaking about decompartmentalizing. There's a chiv to kill him because he did something horrible, violated a major issue in the Torah, and therefore we're doing that. And who says that the mitzvah of doesn't apply? So it's a separate mitzvah. And therefore, as we kill him, we have to take into account the different possibilities and what's going to be more painful for him, what's going to be least painful for him, which we'll discuss in the next year. And therefore, that's what we have to follow. And the Gemara says, does everyone agree with him? He says, yeah, everyone agrees. They might just argue of the details of how you carry out It's an incredible concept. Just to bring it down, halacha lemaisa. A teacher punishing a child, parent disciplining a child. At the same time, we paskin, you have to put him in the corner. You paskin that he needs a time out. You paskin, he's not going to ride his bike tonight. So at the same time that you're poskening that he needs to have what he needs to have, there's no contradiction. And if the Gemara is carrying out by someone who has a death penalty, how much more so if you're giving the child a punishment for not cleaning his room, not doing his homework, etc. Shalom.